Hi everyone, my name is Rishikesh. I'm Chief Data Scientist at Netcore. Uh, before this, I was a founder of a company, AI company called uh, uh, Quinto.ai, which got acquired by Netcore. And uh, today we are going to talk about data science. Now, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science are the most used buzzwords these days. But, but what exactly is it and, and why should you be excited about these things? Data science is basically letting machines find, uh, make sense out of data by finding patterns in a large amount of data set. Now data science has been uh, an old field, but with the emergence of internet companies, there is a surge of amount of data that is getting generated. And that, that is why in recent times, uh, this computer science field has suddenly gathered a lot of importance uh, uh, and, and a lot of interest in entire community. So why do we need machines or computers to analyze patterns? Aren't humans really good at that? Now imagine you have to predict a house price based on its square footage. It's, a, it's an easy thing to do. It's just you're predicting house price based on just one element, that is a square footage. But the moment you, the moment you add more elements to it, say, uh, you add localities, you add, uh, 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 say, say, amenities, you add uh, things like whether security is there or not. More you add these features, then it becomes a little bit more complicated problem to solve. And that is where data science comes into picture. Today, internet companies are generating thousands each, uh, behind each user. And uh, you need machines to make sense out of that. Now, what kind of problems can machine learning really solve? Many, like identifying if the incoming mail is spam or not, which your Gmail does very well, or identifying which shows to recommend to you, which Netflix does really, really well. To modern day robotics, behind everything, every single problem, the, every single technology that you use, there is some amount of AI, machine learning, or data science involved. I'll give you one very funny uh, anecdote. Uh, there, there was a there was a supermarket in US and they they wanted to uh, their, their beer sales were not happening really well and they wanted to understand what they can do and where they can place their beer so that the 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 the, uh, uh, the sale goes up they tried everything nothing worked and then they then they uh, applied machine learning over that and the machine came up with a with a solution that you should place beers near baby diapers. And when they did that, the beer sales went up. Why? Because mothers were sending husbands, their husbands to get the, the baby diapers. And when husbands were coming to get the baby diapers, they were also picking beers. Now, this is a very funny anecdote, but, but this is what data science can really do. It can find patterns in huge amount of data that even humans many a times miss. There are many things that you can do with data science, like data engineering, data analysis, machine learning algorithms, many things. But at the end of it, the simple thing that is most important thing is you have to fall in love with data. Not anything that you're going to do today or in future will have data science associated with it in some or the other way. There is no escaping that. So if there is no escaping, why not just fall in love with data and, and take it head on? So that's what data science is all about. And I hope uh, you will have added something interesting to your outlook on that. I'll stop here. And if there are any more questions, any questions, I'll take that. For, okay, there's one question for data science. Do we need any programming knowledge? Well, uh, not, not all type of data science. There are, there are things like uh, uh, data, in, uh, data analysis where you can use tools 
to analyze data bi what they are called as business intelligence tools so not all applications of data science you need programming knowledge specifically uh, uh, there are very very nice tools that are available which can create a lot of interesting insights and visualizations so that is also one of the very upcoming field of data science and uh, in, in fact one of the best ones that people really are looking out for